Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to be fixing my high bw 5 that you can see here because the problem is that it fell and well it didn't broke like this I opened it but um, what happens is that the somehow the battery got detached so I opened it as you can see this is just glued so opening it is really simple to do so I just open it now the problem is that to put it back I need to glue it again or I don't know put some tape around it to have it like you know close it uh, but this video also serves as a teardown of the high bw 5s you can see that this is the circuit board for the touch button that's uh, here it's actually a capacitive button so this is the circuit and another thing that I found out I thought that these cables were actually for the battery but they are actually for the vibrator here because this thing vibrates and I know people are making jokes of the W5 because of its shape and uh, technically it has a vibrator so anyway continuing with the uh, teardown process um, the battery connector is here so that over there is the battery connector and somehow it, this fell because the, the clip design is so bad that you know it, it just fails it just fails and turns out that on one of those fouls it started shutting down and um, yeah the, the clip goes there and started shutting down and well it never turned back on again it actually did but uh, then turns out that this morning it didn't want it to turn on so yeah I'm going to be um, taking off these screws over here so that I can try and attach the battery again and we can see uh, we can have a better picture of the circuit board as well so that's what I'm going to be doing here I'm going to be using this screwdriver that I have here so have to take this screw taking it off is really simple just be sure to not um, have it uh, to, to have the, the screws in a safe location we don't want to lose the screws because it's important to have the circuit board installed back I usually just when I disassemble circuits and do teardowns I just put maybe two screws if it has four I put two back because you never know when you have to open it again and that um, helps me to fix the problem faster okay so I'm taking I think I'm taking the last uh, screw off here all right and there we have it so if I take the circuit board you can see it it's really great and so you can see that the battery connector is not soldered which is great because it allows you to easily replace the battery if it gets bad so here's the circuit board seems to be a really awesome elaborated circuit board um, we have the CSR chip here this seems to be an oscillator these are the pins for the USB connector a lot of um, resistors and capacitors I guess and um, this should be the amplifier which is an ESS 929 uh, uh, I mean 9218 so it's one of those simple portable amps that is also used on other phones and of course we have the audio jack here so yeah Hybe does a great job on building circuits and this sounds really great uh, it was manufactured on March 13th of 2019 of this year um, so yeah and these are the pin contacts that makes contact with the circuit board of the um, of this part so essentially that's how it works alright so um, what I need to do is I need to connect the battery here so I'm going to try to do that but I have to be very careful with this because I really don't want to break it so let's see if I can attach it 
But the problem is that the connector is so small that I may have some difficulties with it. I was able to attach the connector there, the, the battery connector, as you can see. So now I need to put the screws back. And then I need to try to power it on and see if it powers. It showed, but again, we don't know. And if it doesn't work, then that means that something else is broken on the W5, which is out of my knowledge, unfortunately. Okay, so it's there already, so let's see if it works. And uh, no, it is not turning on, unfortunately. So if I put it on the charging base gradle here, It's also not, um, the LED is not making contact, as you can see. So it probably has to do with the contacts itself. Or maybe it simply stopped working. Yeah, I think it got, it's broken and it's no longer working because not doing anything at all. Okay, so I was using it and turns out that this pin that you have here, this is the one that turns it on. Uh, apparently it's a touch capacitive button and you just have to press it, uh, touch it and it will turn on. But unfortunately, it does not work sometimes. You have to... There you go. Okay, so now I was able to turn it on. Now if I press it again, it turns off. Um, apparently, uh, these two are the antennas, and these three are related to the LED. So the one that turns it on is this one. Again, they just you just have to make some contact with it, and it will turn on may take a little while for it to actually turn on there you go and don't know if this will cause a short circuit but the good thing is that since it has the vibrator here um, you'll know that it's turning on so yeah may take a few tries but it will eventually work Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it then don't forget to give me a like uh, and subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.